group hug. It's 2020. We're going to rate the lesbian YouTubers. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're not going to rate them on their looks or the quality of their content because, you know, they need to upload for us to do that. So we are going to base it on the following categories. Okay. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. How problematic are they? Yeah, because we like that. We stand. Yeah. Do we stand their girlfriends, past or present? Mm. Would we regret in the morning? Do we ever regret? Why? Why? Why am I struggling with regret? No, are you still drunk? Well done for your dry January. <laughs> you, why can't I? January. Dry January. We're both drunk. Huh? Do we support their political agenda if they were president of the United States? And what would their prime policy be? And finally, do they have nipple confidence? Ah, I you know? don't. Really? That's something I don't have. Do you have. not have nipple confidence? I have zero nipple confidence. Is it because you'd have to have like... No, don't nip. say it. Don't say it. Amy Orkman, she had like 10 boob jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had like 25 So she had like 30 jobs. boob jobs. So she's a hundred She had a hundred boob, boob jobs. Yeah. Nipple confidence? Mm. Yes. They should be like... They should be technically perfectly engineered. When was the last time she had a girlfriend? <laughs> I remember. Right, Ali Hills. Yes. So, do we stand her girlfriend past and present? Well, they were a disaster together, so I, do I stand? I disagree. That is a strong word. I disagree. I, I think they were a, a beautiful disaster. Would we support Amy Ordman's presidential agenda? Probably, yeah, because she's vegan. Yeah. I think she cares about the environment and yes. animals. Yes. Amy, president, do you buy it? Can you imagine her in the Oval having like multiple orgies with her staff? Yes. yes. How problematic is Amy Ordman? Oh, Very. Interesting. In her really? personal life, I yeah. feel like a lot. We like that though. Yeah. I actually retweeted something about problematic on my private Twitter. Okay. I love the time it takes for you to get stuff off your phone. Some people might not know that you're a human and can fuck up and take accountability for your actions. They paint you out to be this perfect, non-flawless, elegant being that are waiting for you to fuck up just to say that they were right about you all along after one mishap. That sums up problematic to me. People make mistakes. I like it when it's more on purpose. Would we regret in the morning? I would not regret. She'd probably try and get me on a channel though and say that we've been like dating for a really long time mm. and make it out like we're in like a crazy relationship and it's like, sorry, I fucked you one time. Yeah, I think I wouldn't regret. God, top, mid or shit. Top tier. Top, a top tier lesbian YouTuber. Yeah. You don't seem sure. No. Should we just put her in like an Australian tier and just fuck her off? Shannon Beveridge. Okay. God tier. Stevie, does Shannon have nipple confidence? Yes. No. No? I think yes. No. I feel like she would happily not wear a bra and flaunt those bullets. I disagree entirely. Would we regret? Absolutely not. I, I think I'd regret lots of people. It would be a terrible, terrible thing to get involved with any of those YouTubers. Well, you're boring. I'd, I'd, I 100% would not regret really? Shannon. That upsets me. Unless it affected our friendship. That upsets me. This is a hypothetical conversation. But I wouldn't regret. Thank you. Oh, you wouldn't regret. Do we stand her girlfriend's past or present? Yes. Yes. Big yes. Big yes. Excellent choices. Yep. Do we support Shannon's political agenda? Yes, I yeah. feel like she's yeah, very she's much very good. treat people kindly yeah, yeah. and live life to and the let full. them be who they want let to be. Them be who they yeah, want in fact, be. possibly stronger values than Amy Orton. Are you dragging Amy? Nothing's changed this year. How problematic is Shannon Beveridge? Not at all. Not at all. In fact, it's actually annoying. I, I feel like Shannon escapes drama. For example, remember when we met Caitlyn Jenner before she went into the UK? I'm a celeb and everyone loved her. Yes. And everyone had a massive go at us for taking a picture of Caitlyn Jenner. We but, didn't know. But like, and then. Like, but like Shannon also met Caitlyn Jenner, but we got this barrage of hate. Yeah, but to be fair, we uploaded the picture and Shannon didn't. And then she said that really cool thing about Caitlyn Jenner that I was like, that's exactly how I feel, but Shannon put it into words. So yeah, this is making me not regret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very happy yeah. with my choices. So she's not problematic. God tier lesbian YouTuber. Yeah, where are we putting ourselves? I would put you God tier. You haven't got nipple confidence, but that no. doesn't matter. No. You don't have to I have, have something confidence. different, it's better. Superior. I have asshole confidence. Huge amount of confidence. And in it. you wonder why our CPM per video is very low. Your political agenda would be um, help everyone and give money to everyone. That's really cute. Your Tiny cars everywhere. How problematic are you? Very, which I love. Do, am I? Would I regret in the morning? Certainly not. Would I regret in the morning? Probably, because you're a crazy stalker and you stalked me for ages. I stalk you? Yeah. It worked, didn't it? I wouldn't regret. Yeah, I think you said enough. You have nipple confidence. Massively. So crawling up my asshole. How problematic am I? 
I think you're not intentionally uh, secretly problematic, problematic, I reckon. Problematic. I think it just comes with everyone. Um, your political but, agenda, yeah, I'd say that's pretty good, but maybe not as good as Shannon's. Why don't you just pit me against another woman? That's exactly what this video is about. Yeah. Okay, so I'm God tier is what you're saying, but you'd regret it in the morning, thanks. It's good to know that no, I've chosen I you as my life partner. I wouldn't regret it in the morning. Do you know what? I'm not going to call you my wife anymore. You're now my life partner. No, don't call me your No, life. you're my life partner. No. Yeah, Tina, you are. Ali Hills. How problematic is Ali Hills? I'd say very. Yeah, I'd say very, but I'd I don't know. Very. I can't put my finger on why. She, has she ever actually done anything? No. So she's extremely problematic. She stirred trouble between us. No, she didn't. Yes, yeah, she did. No, she didn't. She kept a whole diary about you. When? Why don't you remember this? Why don't I remember this? We went to LA like years later and she was like, oh, I didn't think I was really in love with you. I thought it was a joke, but then I read my diary and was obsessed with Rose Dirks. And I got upset and Shannon was like, you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. She was like, you sure? Yeah, I would not regret Shannon in the morning. She was really sweet. Ali Hill's nipple confident, absolutely. Yeah. She's so nipple confident. What is her policy? I don't know, and so therefore I'm gonna say maybe she doesn't have strong policies. Do we stand her girlfriends past or present? Ah. You know, I can't remember. <laughs> I can. Stevie. Amy. Amy. I swear Me. Who else? There was someone else. else. Was there someone else? Or was it just a lot of drama around those two people? Yeah, it was a lot of oh, drama. That's right. I stand them individually, but not as couples. No, yeah, agreement. Not as couples. Agreement. I didn't love Stevie and Ali. Actually, I did. Do you know what? I did like Stevie and Ali. It was, it was fun. I liked it when it they made that dangerous. music video in the house. That was nipple really confident. Yeah. Stevie, nipple, nipple confident. confident. Would you regret in the morning? No. So funny. Either. She was obsessed with you, but excuse me? Sorry? It would be a whirlwind. Yes. It would be stormy. Yes. You're just naming Kardashians. Okay, yeah. right, okay. You can't put her in the god tier. Why? I haven't had as many meaningful conversations with her as I have with Shannon. Nothing to do with the criteria. And far then. less sex. So I'm gonna say top tier. Stevie. Nipple confident, yes. Orifice yeah. confident, yes. yes. Do we stand her political agenda? Hmm. I think yes. I think yes. She's very sex positive. Honest and an open speaker, which I think we need. Problematic. Yes. Yeah, but own in a, in a great way because she's not afraid to speak yeah, the truth. Yeah, very outspoken. Oh, what you like. Which I like. You like that. I like that a lot. Would we regret in the morning? I'm gonna say yes on this, I'll tell you yes. why. Yes. I'm intimidated yeah, same. by Stevie's yeah. sexual prowess. No, it's too much for me. I would definitely regret in the morning. I'd regret because I'd, I'd feel like I underperformed. I can't handle it. I underperformed yeah. that night, Stevie, and I'm sorry. I'd cringe at myself. I would cringe at myself. I'd be like, oh. It's like, oh my God, how embarrassing. Like yeah. I moaned one time and it was awkward. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. no. I'm gonna put her in the top tier. Right, okay. I feel like a lot of these people are gonna to be top or god. We've gotta find someone for the shit for some stupid reason. Okay. Alexa Gizal, she'll be in the shit tier. Why? She should be in the good tier. Why? Because she's really nice to us. Yeah. She showed us a good time. Yes. Um, she has nipple confidence. Yes. Um, she but she tried to sleep with us that one time, which was a joke, but right, I don't think it was. was. So would you regret in the morning? Yes. Yeah. I would because I'm 10 years her senior and that's the only reason. Alexis was like joking years back about threesomes and stuff. And Rosie and I were like, lol. And then we got back to the UK and we were like, I bet that was real. I think it was... <laughs> I don't think you joke. I think she heavily came on to you one point. No, she didn't. I'm literally just being problematic, but I, I need someone in the shit tier to make this a bit of a dynamic video. Mm. So, um... Can we haven't done all the YouTubers, don't worry. Hello. Is she problematic? Yeah. Mm, is she? Fine, she's not. I feel like she's not, not problematic, but I don't know her strong policies. Although she's very, like, gay in a good way. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so we stand like her Shannon political is. agenda because she's very gay. Yeah, just like she's very confident with it, like, very, like, pro. I really like her. She's mm. very, very funny. She very knows herself. Very sharp-witted. She knows herself. And she's known herself from a young age, which I like. I really like that. Also, she banged... Oh, I can't say that. Yeah. So I'm going to put Alexis in the shits here. Because I need some kind of, like, variety. I've got no reason, really. If anything, it's because I like her the most. Cammy Scott. Nipple confidence. Would we regret Cammy in the morning? No. No. But like, like Ali, I feel like there will be a storm. I feel like it will be less crazy than Ali. Really? I think you're... Well, maybe, do you know what? Actually, no, I think she's sleeping in the knock hair. Actually, oh, that's, what I think that's really happen. hurtful. Do you think? Yeah, that? I think she just like, yeah, that happened, and then I think she has gone on with her life, and I'd be like, <laughs> Cami Scott conquistador. <laughs> what does that mean? I think it means you conquer people, and then you're like, yeah, conquered, done it, slept with. But I don't think that's Cami, unless it secretly is, and I'd have sex with her, and then she'd be like, yeah, whatever, and I'd what be like, sorry, it's a monumental moment in your life. What if conquistador is just the winner of the conquers game? <sighs> it's great. 
great question. Do we stand her girlfriend's past or present? Some I really stand. Some I really got and, to your stand. Yeah, and, and, and some we, maybe not as so much. Yeah, but, but the ones we stand. Yeah. Yeah. So vegan, we love that, yeah, don't we? Especially yeah. you. Um, I like the fact that she's very kind. Yeah. She's a good friend. Also cares about the environment. Cares about the environment. I like it. I like I it. I definitely vote for her as president. I would vote for her simply yeah. for eye candy. Joanna Simon. Mm -hmm. Is it Joanna Simon or Simons? It's years later and I still don't know. I know. Is it Joanna Simon? Simon. Would I regret? No. No. Nipple confident? Yeah. Yes. Political agenda? I don't, don't know. know. Because I don't know her well enough to know. Would you vote for her as president? Yes. How problematic is Joanna? Not, not, at, all. not at all. Not really at all. She's a very but nice what person. what does she stand for? This is what I want to know. Joe, come over, hang out with us more, yeah. and then I'll be able to put you in a god tier as soon as I know you better. All I know about her is that she has good eyebrows. That's not all I know. She's also really hot. We also really and like her. And possibly related to Cammy. Yeah, they should kiss. I don't know her enough to really bat for a god tier, but I bet as soon as I do, she'll be up there okay. above everyone else. Especially Alexis. Paige and Holly. Shit tier? Paige and Holly. Shit tier. Now they're our really good friends. I'm gonna say that now, even though okay. I've only met one of them once. Yeah, and they, and they live in Canada. Which means that we can put them in the shit tier because we roast them and they love it. You guys are so funny. Like, roast us, drag us, we'll do anything to sleep with you. We're like, yeah, I know. Oh my god. Like, stop blowing up my phone. Would you regret in the morning? No. No, not at all. They're so nice, so yeah. their political agendas will all be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Nipple they're Canadian, confident. they have good uh, values, don't they? Yeah, they're just kind people yeah. and polite and clean. Do I think Nipple they've confidence. got a nipple confidence? I don't know that. I don't know. know that. I don't so know that. Potentially, potentially not. Yeah. Are they problematic? Not at all, which actually goes against them. So maybe mm. they're just top tier. Mm. Maybe they're mid tier. Do you know what they're mid tier? Being unproblematic is boring. It is boring. Be more problematic. Yeah. Well, they don't be mean to me on Twitter, you guys, because I'll cry. <laughs> okay, so mid tier, shit mid tier, shit below tier. shit tier. Shit Some part tier. tier. Shit tier. Canadian tier. Done. Right. Now, we're going to rate someone that people kept telling us to react to. So we don't know them that well. But everyone has been saying react to Corinne and Skylar. So we watched a few of their videos so we can rate them. I've Obviously, we don't know them as well. Half a video. So yeah. when you say a few videos, this basis is on half a video. Half a video. Well, they've got a dog. Which I like. God tier YouTubers. God tier, yeah. Karen and Scott. Corinne. Cor That's what I said. From what I got from the 30 seconds of what I watched. Yeah. Well, we watched, there's one problematic thing. Hugely problematic. She said, hi, I'm Corinne and this is my beautiful girlfriend, Skylar. And I was like, okay, hi guys, my name's Shannon and this is my beautiful girlfriend, Gabby. Sorry. That Sorry guys. Crazy. Sorry guys. Before. You might be influenced by such God tier YouTubers, yeah. but can't just recycle content. You they can't recycle content. That's interesting. They I'm actually, joking. I'm they being actually, problematic. They actually had a video with the exact same title as our video. But they shouted us out, though. Yes. It would did. be more problematic not to. I like their voices. A lot. Yeah, I like a great voice. Voice. both of their voices. Both of their yeah. and great eyebrows and great yeah. dress sense. I like a lot. Yeah, but like let's stick to the criteria. Go on. Okay. Nipple confident. I'd say yes. Yes. Hundred percent. Very confident. strong nipple confidence vibe. Yes. Would you regret in the morning? Right, Do now they're I two know separate, them well they're, two, they're two different people, but... What if you have sex with both of them at the same time? Uh... I, I think I wouldn't because I think I, it would feel like a wild night out. Nice. That's what I feel like sleeping with them would be like. I'd call up my friends like, You would not believe who I slept with last night. I'd regret. Really? Why? Because I don't feel... Too much feel... nipple confidence for you. Maybe. Maybe it's the two too much confidence. I know what you mean. Sometimes I get intimidated, like Stevie, you know? I'm just like, do, uh, do you think it's because you um, and Corinne what, I mean, are a bit similar, and so? No, we're not similar in any way. Oh, okay. I like how I've jumped okay. to that conclusion based on 30 you seconds. You know them so but well. you know when you just know. Yeah, I do, I do. I, do I don't think, think we're similar. No, no, there's nothing wrong with making a judgment like this, because I'm sorry, but this is what people do to us, and this is what people do to YouTubers. You watch a YouTuber, and you know immediately if they're your type of person. Oh, I'm not saying they're not my type of person. No, 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 I'm but you saying... know if you're like the same. Right, and I, I think we we are very different. Interesting. But I might be wrong. We'll find out. Interesting. I hope that's problematic. Just a bit of juice, a bit of drama, a bit of, what the fuck is juice? What the hell is problematic juice? Well, problematic juice is... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't know. What? I, 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 and Kristen Stewart. Do we stand their political agenda? I don't know their political agenda. Neither do I. So All we I know is they have a dog. They have a dog. Right. That's good. I, I saw, I don't, so like Joanna Simon, I don't know. So I'm just going to say you've got an average political agenda. It's average. I can't, I can't, I can't tell you. We can't reality. back it, guys. We are putting them in the mid tier. Oh, really? Not the top tier? I don't know them well enough, which is, 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 is almost harsh because I can't give them a fair rating because I haven't yeah. watched, but I also did want to so ignore that they existed. Right, so. right, right, and we wanted to react to it. Okay, so, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Well, I'm going to 
I put them in top tier until they do something that moves them down. I like that. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's really good. Thank you. I like that. Marissa and Brittany. For me, God tier. God tier. Because I look up to them. Because they I just love them. They've gone into the unknown. <laughs> Not just about the baby journey though. Like ever since I've known these two, yeah, they're they great. are just the nicest people. Yeah, they are. They really are. Like, you know when you just know someone's a really good person, like yeah, those two, so nice. top notch, top people. So, nipple confidence. Nipple I'd say confident, yes. yes. I would say yes. Do we stand their girlfriends? Yes. yes. Their political agenda. Wait, past and present. Past and present. No! No, but, so, but, but their girlfriend now, yes. Yes! So... <laughs> are they problematic? No. But they could be, but in a fun way. They did steal our baby name. They did. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know if you agree with our ratings and if you think someone should have been placed in the shit tier. Bye! Bye!